Welcome to Cheap Thrills. This week we went to Sylvester's, a historic site and restaurant in downtown Northampton for over 38 years. This week we went to see what the Valley nominated best brunch in town had to offer. Well, I'm actually, how long have I been managing at Sylvester's? I'm actually pretty new to the management team, so I've only been managing for uh, about six months now. Uh, but I did grow up in these businesses, um, and I've been a part of them for my whole life. Uh, so, you know, in many ways I've been here forever. In some ways I've only been here a, a very short time. So we expected that there would be a big change in customers uh, and business when we reopened. We, we were sort of hesitant, you know, we didn't know if it was going to be busy, if people were going to, you know, remember that we were around before the pandemic. Uh, but um, unexpectedly, we were, you know, busy as we'd always had been. So uh, that was really a great surprise for us. You know, our, our old regular customers turned out really well and, you know, they seem to be still having a good time even though things have changed a little bit. Um, we. Uh, you know, to keep up with the success, I think our, our best bet is to just stay true to our core principles, which are, you know, to be committed to local and sustainable foods, uh, to take care of our people, and, you know, to be committed to the community. Okay, so we just put in our orders for our food, but they also gave us some pastries, so thank you, Chris. Uh, first up, I'm going to try the banana bread. It's house-made local ingredients. The banana bread. I think it was, it's really, like, moist in a way but not like too like dry or like wet sometimes i'll like go to like a cafe and their bread is like stale by this time of the day but it's still like really good right now so we just finished our meals at sylvester's i got the california eggs benedict and bella got avocado toast um and what i have to say is they really, like for being such a historic restaurant, they've stood the test of time. Because these are like more like trendy dishes, I would say. It's like avocado toast, like eggs benedict, and like with spinach and tomatoes. So it's more like LA, like New York brunch. But I really loved all the food. I thought it was really good. I'm really full afterwards. Um, however, my only criticism is, I think there needs to be more seasoning on the food. Because it was like... It was a little bit like blandish for because it wasn't seasoned, but I think that is to make it more palatable to like everyone. But overall, like Sylvester's was really solid. I thought it was a great place to get lunch, and I highly recommend. Thanks for watching, and thank you so much to Chris at Sylvester's. We'll see you next week.